Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So today, we are ambushing a pirate convoy. Uh, we want to make sure that um, we destroy everything here. Uh, we don't want the uh, pirates to know who it was that uh, basically took all their shiz. So, I don't even know if I can get up here. Um, I'm here. So yeah, we're just, oh I can. So we're just going to perform a raid on these guys, steal all their stuff and get out of here and then just sell it. Um, don't know how this, how bad this battle is going to go, but uh, we'll find out soon enough, I imagine. Receiving you. Let's get right up here. Got it. Cross Don't right through the uh, rough terrain, because we're good at doing that. I think they're coming straight towards us, so we're going to have to kill them right in here. Now we're running uh, not our standard loadout. Um, right now the Victor is in repairs and so is the Hunchback. So we do have the Mjolnir in here and we do have the Bushwhacker, the Catapult and the uh, Jager Mech. So hopefully there should be more than enough firepower. The Jager Mech is still running the overheat loadout so he's going to be tackling all the mechs. Or at least attacking all the mechs. Mjolnir will be probably targeting vehicles right away. Oh shit, there's a guy right here. X5, eh? Okay. And the bushwhacker will be swapping back and forth between the two. Ready for order. Yeah. Are we stuck? We're not stuck. Okay. Let's get up into here. Now, I thought I saw a vehicle over here, but I guess not. X5, Centurion, Urban Mech, and a Bessie. Okay. Sleep near, sleep near, sleep near, and sleep near. Okay. Let's just fire on this guy. I don't know we see him. Let's get you into the woods here. Let's remove this guy. He's between us and the vehicles, so he's got to go. Now, I've never played an ambush convoy on this particular map before, which is strange because I've played a hell of a lot of matches. And this is the first time I've done an ambush convoy on this map. So, there you go. Let's get up over here. Let's leave room for the uh, Mjolnir to get up here. And um, we've only got 10 turns of firing. I think we'll probably be fine. So let's get some heat on this guy. Steve can get in cleanup mode anyway, so we're not really that worried. As long as we inflict enough damage. Even if the uh, catapult and the uh, Jager mech run out of ammo, Steve's will be in just clean up at that point and it'll just smoke everybody. Uh, let's target the sleep. Well, yeah. Let's go X5. Let's try and pull this guy out of the battle. Fire everything. Okay. Looks like a standard Centurion loadout, probably an AC-10 and a LRM-10. Or an AC-20, maybe. Waiting for orders. Let's close a little bit. Don't really have to, but we're in optimal range at this point. So let's go against the Centurion and fire everything. Trying to inflict damage on that arm. Yes, Commander. Same with you. Let's get over here. All right, let's move. Intercept these guys. Hopefully, we can take the Centurion's arm. Nope. Don't need to move fast. 
And Centurion again, see if we can overheat him. Firing. Fire away. I have no idea what size of the AC that is. Not that it matters that much. He's overheating. This should be an easy kill. Once the victor comes back, we'll be able to uh, take a tougher mission. Barely hit, Commander. Okay, Turby didn't do much. Let's get into here. Uh, I have no idea how much armor this guy's got, but we'll fire everything. Yeah, these vehicles aren't going to make it past here. Enemy unit destroyed. Bessie, I want to see what that is. I wonder if it's like a cattle master or something. Kind of sounds like it would be something like a cattle master. Uh, let's get back over here. Uh, can we get the centurion on the side? We can, but... Um... Rotate a little bit. Location confirmed. Get our stability back. We're going to shoot on the Centurion again. I know it's bad chances to hit, but we've done some good damage to the side, so we'll continue along. Solid connection on that one. I don't know if that was solid or not, but it's enough to pen. That's all that matters. All right, Steve. All right, let's finish this guy up. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Of course you do. They're heading your way. I knew I saw something back here. If they shoot on me before I get a chance to do anything, that's I'm calling bullshit. Commander? Like if they were further back, I'd say okay, maybe they were powered down or something, but not right there. That's a that's a load of BS. Got to get rid of this centurion. Course. Okay, let's overheat the Centurion again. And firing. I only got two guys back here, right? Crab and Mars then? Yeah, I wonder if that's like a version of the uh, Cattle Master. Okay, Saint, let's get the hell out of that area. Uh, can't have our back to those guys. I think that's probably good. It's going to be Centurion again. And firing. Wow, that was lousy. Oh, you're Trixie. You're trying to get up there, are you? Ok, 
Goddamn head hits, man, I'm telling you. Okay, what's our chance to hit here? 32. Centurion, probably way better. Yeah, we're gonna try and shut this guy down. Yep. Shut down he is. Okay, so that's the same crab that we had, the double AC Vi version. I'm receiving you. Um Let's do this. As much as I want to shoot that Centurion, I think with the vehicles are a priority. So uh yeah. Not quite enough. Steve will kill this guy. Got a lock on me. Let them have a lock on you. He just powered up. Marsden. Wow, that's it, eh? Thanks for coming out, buddy. Okay, hopefully we can kill this guy firing. Just want to make sure the kill, which is why we fire everything. Too many times I've done multi-targets and killed neither. That guy is hiding. That's all I got to say about that. Urban Mech is just going to not be in battle at all. There we go. Oh, we ain't going nowhere. I guess we don't need to fight these guys. We're mostly getting going for salvage, so... Or, sorry, we're mostly going for payout. But, it's not how I run. Clear the battlefield, I say. Ping! Yeah, nope. Uh, yep. Roger. Sit up here and Centurion, since he hasn't moved, dump everything into him. Critical hit, Commander. Commander. Move order received. This crab's being annoying, so let's try and overheat him. Uh, we're gonna warlord it because we can and fire everything on him. Okay. Good extra amount of heat. Marsden doesn't seem to be doing too much, so... I'm gonna see if I can get Steve to pull out the, uh... Centurion. Hit, Commander. And maybe a shot on the crab. Yeah, it's a 25. That's what I thought. It's probably a... Oh, he's finally showed up. Oh, it's the rocket version. Reporting major armor loss. Rockets are gone. It's got a, probably a small laser. That's probably a boomstick he's got in there. Alright, uh, Warlord this up. And let's pull out the Centurion, I think. This guy's probably not going to do much. I don't know how much armor that guy's got. Centurion doesn't have... Ah. This guy's got too many guns. Let's fire on him. Wow, penned with four but didn't kill him. Must have been four different locations. Moving out. 
take this guy out the field, hopefully. Come on. He lost something. A critical hit. One of the arm. Probably this arm came off. Oh, he went down. Okay. And we're going to go A and B and fire. Confirm. Okay, that guy's gone. That guy's severely damaged. That hit something good. And he's going down. Don't have to move very far. Trying on this guy. He should be pretty damn hot now. Yeah, he shut down. Like in this Jager mech loadout. That's that's for damn straight. I totally am. Okay, so we can multi here. And B gets one, and A gets the rest. Okay, so Centurion's gone. Just as Bessie left. He's got some pretty good armor. He took three good shots. Especially for being a 25 tonner. So Steve's going to target the. Oh, wow. Where's this guy going? Steve will be going after the Marsden next turn. Uh, let's try and finish up this guy down here. Don't think we can, but we'll fire on him anyway. Commander. Soften up that Mars then. And firing. Receiving you. Uh, let's make sure we got a good direct line of sight here. Firing on the crab. He shut down again. And powering up. He coming back for a fight. Apparently. Nice shot. Okay, Marsden. Firing. Yes, Commander. You know your job. Moving out. You know your job. Uh, we're gonna multi. And medium lasers will go to B and so will the small and we'll fire. Okay, lots of heat on that guy. Not shut down though. Nice, three more hits. Good to go. See if we can pull this Marsden out of the battle here. Can we get to a point where I can't really tell there? Let's get in here a little closer. The uh, MMLs will work better if we're a little closer, so let's fire. Oh, we penned. I think I oh, he's gone. I guess we killed the engine. Let's show this Bessie that uh, he's in a real battle. And fire. That's it for that guy. See what this crab does. Oh, nice shooting, man. Well, only three shot runs of evasion. 
So in the new version of Rogue Tech, uh, yes, definitely going to have to um, pay a lot more attention to ECM uh, and how we're running it. Um, having our frontline mechs definitely have a uh, good ECM on them and one heavy mech in the background having a good ECM on it so they can work with everybody else and everybody else having lighter ECMs to support. See if we can shut him down. Shut him down. Shut him. Shut him down. Oh, well, knocked him down. And shut him down. Q public enemy. Shut him down. Alright, uh, let's CT this guy and get out of here. There it is, folks. Alright, let's head back to the ship. Okay, contract and payment increased by 35%. 1.3 mil, nice. Yeah, Steve's out for a bit, but, wow, look at the kills on him. Um, uh, moving on. Get one out of four salvage. And maybe we take the Bessie part? No, maybe not. Uh, AC5 double plus. Increased range, increased stability damage. That's a possibility. We have a bonus damage one right now, but the... Jaeger mech is mostly for overheating, so having that extra range would be good and the stability damage would be good too. That's a possibility, MML7. We got, we've got MMLs kicking around, right? Not 7s, I think we have 9s, or A9 at least anyway. ECM, energy fuel cells, these are great costs. Um, 1.6 engine weight factor, but minus 60% heat generated from weapons fire. This would be great. Um, for certain types of mechs, but I don't think for anything that we have right now. Um, AC5 double ammo, meh. Alright, strangely enough, I am going to take the weapon upgrade. This guy. I know it's probably not the best choice. People are screaming, no, you gotta go for this guy down here. But nope, I think pretty much, I think we're okay. If you think about it, it's 1.6 times the engine weight. 10 ton engine is 16 tons. That's 6 tons. If you had a mech that was low on weapons, that's 6 heat sinks you don't need to include. Because of the minus 60% heat generation from weapons fire. So it would be good there. But I don't know. We'll play around with it later, but right now, it looks like we're going to be getting a lot of these, so we'll play around with it later. Urban mech part. Hooray! Light AC5. Machine gun and SRM. Alright, let's have a look here. So, 83,000 repairs. Not bad. 24 days. Won't be anywhere near that. Okay, so let's have a look here. 11 days to financial report. Let's manage our tasks a bit. We want to have... Uh, let's get the Victor up for sure. And we want the Emil near up. We're going to want uh, Catapult for sure, but that's fine where it sits. Let's bring the Jaeger up. We'll bring the Bushwhacker down. Hunchback we're going to want back, but that'll be back in time. Eight, yeah, so everything will be back in nine days. So that's good. Steve won't be though, unfortunately. He's out for 15 which will take us into the next financial report, which is why we went this big route here. Let's just have a look here, contract-wise, if there's anything. I forgot if there was anything else we wanted to do on this planet. Oh, there's a few here. Um, burden of proof against Federated Suns, ambush convoy, hide the evidence is a destroy base at three and a half, trap sprung, three and a half. Actually, this might be a good one to do. Although, you know what? Let's have a look around here um, we've got a little bit of time see if we can find something within nine days now I think we're at a good position here if I'm not mistaken we're at Mira 10 days 15 
Trying to stay on the border here. New Roads is 11 days. That's not bad. What's it got there? It's a three and a half skull planet too, which I think is probably pretty good. Pirate presence, recreation, research, any hallucinatory vegetation? Sure does. Definitely want to go there. That's probably why it has uh, recreation here. Um, so let's go there. It's at 11 days, so we should be good to go. Let's travel. And then when we get there, we should be able to pull off a mission. Hopefully we can find a four skull, four and a half maybe, depending on the mission. Base destruction or uh, capture base or something along that line, I think will probably be the best route to go for four and a half skull. Man, every time I watch these animations, I just love what they've done with this game. Ready to go over financial yep, that's good. We're good to go. Uh, let's have a see if I've got anything at the store here. Uh, probably not. Small VSPL. Nah. What's the range? 220. Ultra 5. XL engine. Cooling pods. We should probably get... I mean, do we have any of these yet, right? right now we got two left over, so I'm not going to bother. But, well, I'm a sucker for cooling pods. Rather than putting a heat sink in, it's better just to put a cooling pod in. So I'm going to grab it. We'll probably have use for it in the future. Alright guys, let's have a look at the contracts. And we'll have a look at our pilots while that's generating. Okay, so we're going to look at the main lance only because we're going to be running these guys. So Hellcat's going to be... F is fine. Rhino is still fine. Rocky is still fine. Saint ran the last mission, but she's not going to be on this one. And Steve's out, so we don't have to worry about him right now. So we've got, what, uh, four days. Let's get him back. All right, there we go. Um, now let's have a look. Okay, so we've got a three and a half off-world, four off-world, a five. Sending a message. Destroy base. What do you think, guys? Davians. Five skull, destroy base. I don't know if we had the firepower for it, but let's try it out. Um, let's go this route. And wait a minute, what's going on with the victor here? Did I forget what I was doing? So I changed the victor loadout. Let's have a look here. I think maybe it's just a fraction of a ton short. 80 tons, what is the issue? No tests scheduled. Why is it giving me an issue then? We've got machine guns. So here's what I did. I put the Ultra 5 in uh, and a couple tons of ammo. And we remain with the light machine guns and machine gun ammo. Uh, and the two medium lasers plus the Thunderbolt. So we should be fine overall. What am I missing? Oh, Thunderbolt ammo. Oh, right the hell? I'm an idiot. I can hear people in the background. Yeah, of course you're an idiot. I need two tons. What the hell, dude? Um, core. Maybe we dropped the core. Maybe. Um, from a 300 to something lower. Do we have anything lower? I need to get, we got 265. That's 13 and a half. This is what? 17 and a half, that's four tons. One day to switch the engine out. That's not bad. Okay, we need to add ammo. Uh, So let's go down and get our, where's the, oh, I won't, went past it. Here we go. We can fit three tons in. Oh, three tons of Thunderbolt ammo. And maybe we change out. Now, what do we have pulse laser wise? We have a VSPL. That's four tons. We could pull the two regular mediums out. So if we do this, 
put the medium VSPL in. We're over by a ton. Um, what's our heat at right now? 82.76. Not bad. Um, the light machine guns. It's basically 10 tons of ammo. We could just go with... Um, I don't, Do I want to be short of Thunderbolt ammo though? It's the main weapon. We can't really do that. Um, how do we get a ton in this thing? Or off this thing, that is. Heat bank is one ton. Minus one heat per turn. So if we replace... That's, that's one ton, right? Can't really replace it. Patchwork we can't add in because we don't have any space. I don't want to pull the TTS Ballistic out. That's giving us increased range. And accuracy. Plus crit chance. Um, although... If we go... This... Oh, right. Slots. Slots. Damn it. Ah, oh, man. Already up to three days. That's adding three tons. Didn't want to have to be doing this. Thought we had um, we've got an ultra light gyro, which is not the choice. We want an extra light gyro, which we don't have. Ah, man. I guess it's got to be the heat bank. I can't think of anything. I'm not. I can't risk pulling the case out. That's not that bad. Three days. Let's confirm this. We can wait three days. It's a five skull mission for crying out loud. We better be uh, tuned up for this. Uh, so three days. Everybody gets a bonus this time. We got the money. We might as well. Tech point. Morale increase. Everybody's happy. Alright. There we go. Command center. Contracts. They better not be too happy. Alright. Negotiate this sucker out. Let's accept this. Okay. So let's... I think we need the punch bot for sure. The Jager mech, I think, probably... What is going on with this guy now? What the hell have I gone and done now? Too many internal hit sinks. Two of zero. Oh, the e-cooling. That only affects with larger engines. Really? So what is too many internal heat sinks?
man. Okay, so we've got a Guardian ECM, which is a ton and a half, right? This is three slots, this is two slots. Ten and a half, two slots. We've only got one slot left. Man. Well, I think there's really only one way you can go here. That's putting one of these in. Perhaps taking that out. Heat sinking is not too bad at all. Better than it was before, so let's confirm this. One more day. Man, gotta tell you. I, I, if I. Oh. Sorry, ADD, man. It's like one of the worst things in the world. Uh, okay, contracts. <laughs> Let's finally do this. Sending a message. Uh, sending the message of ADD. Okay. Alright, now, Jagermech. Pulling it out. Putting this one in. And I wonder if we should... We got really 10 tons of ammo. Gotta remember that. I'm wondering if we should run an overheater rather than just a missile. Because all we've got on this is missiles. Hang on a minute. Sorry guys, I apologize for this. We've gotta be ready for this if we're doing a five sculler. Um, Oh man, maybe we got enough money today to get, or between episodes, next episode, to get these guys fixed up. Let's have a look at this, see if there's any way. Heavy Pharaoh and End of Steel, Ultra Light Gyro already in here. Warfare Suite is, this is, so this is the guy we want to have around everybody else. Um, I wonder if we drop the LRM 10 to a 5. And add some more ammo, which is probably better. Um, and we could add accuracy ammo now that we have it. So let's do that. Let's take the 10 out. Let's put a 5 in. Plus 1 accuracy, 5. Plus 1 accuracy, 50% crit. Probably going to want more crit than anything. And so this is 20, 40 missiles. So that's 3, 6, 9, 12 and another three, 15 turns of firing. Uh, do we, have, we do have tags, don't we? So it's 15 turns of firing. We could put two turn, well. Let's just leave one tag in. And then let's go and put in more ammo. And the reason why I want to do that is maybe we can spend a, a few turns before we even get close just pot shotting these guys. So let's do that. Heat efficiency should still be, yeah, really good. So let's confirm this. Two days. Not bad. Not getting killed by the uh, you know ridiculous sea bill cost of... Um, okay ridiculous sea bill cost of uh, putting the light engine in for crying out loud. Alright, now we should be good. Alright. Jagermech out. Victor in. Hunchback in. Uh, let's do this, guys. Finally. Oh, wait a minute. Go back. Hunchback. Oops, sorry, not Hunchback. God damn it. Saint out. Rocky in. There we go. Yeah, it might require more firepower. We're going to try it out, see how it goes. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. 
I hate this map. Straight down the valley. We got to kill the mechs here at the distance and then get in. Hopefully they don't have reinforcements. At least our evac point is up here on the hill. Uh, and the one thing I did notice is that our T-SAMP cannon on the hunchback is damaged still. Okay, this is stupid now that I'm trapped in the valley. Waiting for orders. Because, damn, oh, I can go over the hill. All right, cool. Uh, let's get into, like, over here. See what we can see. Obviously nothing yet. They got one, one turn of sensor immunity. And so do we. I'm thinking if we can get eyes on. Uh, you can't move anywhere though. So it's a forced reserve, which means you get a negative for being trapped in the middle. Um, if we can get eyes on early, we might be able to kill the buildings with long range missile fire. In which case, we can just bug out. It'd be nice to be able to take down a full assault lance though first. You just need, bear, need to be very aware. Actually, let's reserve. Be very aware of our positioning. Yes, Commander. And who they're going to be able to see. Roger. If they've got long range missile turrets, it's going to be a huge problem. Yes, Commander. Can't get Roger. the cover, eh? Well, we did lower the engine, so. Okay, what do we got here? Defiant, 75 tons. Thunderbolt, not bad. Catapult, which is bad. Wolverine. Heavy turret, we don't know what that is. As long as we can keep this hill between us and him, we should be okay. I'm receiving you. Yep, moving over to here. So no, we can't get any direct fire on us. We're going to drop some shiz on this guy. And firing. Roger. Okay, good shooting. Commander. Um, we're gonna reserve rock. For the right. I want to strike the defiance, but we can't actually visually see it. So let's see what he does. Oh, okay, he's moving into the mineral field. Standing by. No. Oh, we can hit the turret from here too, though. Double time. Do we want to do that, though? 26%. Not really worth it. 22. Yeah, it's better to go up to the turret. 21. Um, we got 15 turns of ammo, so... VSPL is not within range, eh? Let's fire this. Roger. Nicely done. Good start. And one hit. Even good. That's sh not shocking, but really good. I don't know if Steve's going to be able to get direct line of sight on this guy. Not with that slow ass engine, but he might be able to get direct shot on the Thunderbolt here. We want to get outside of turret shot range. Let's move into here. So Defiance is basically the Warhammer. Looks like a Warhammer. So let's fire on this guy. Um, what do we want to just sensor lock him? Let's sensor lock him for the PPCs. Sensors locked on. Here comes the missiles.
Thought for a second there was going to be a PPC appalled. Um, this guy's fired, and he's not in the woods. So uh, let's take a good shot at this guy. Oh, he is. Well. Okay, that's a good start. Back turrets, ACs. Crappy Thunderbolt turret. We got to kill that guy. God, I'm more afraid of the turrets than I am in the mechs. Ready for orders. All right, Rock. Wow, look at the movement on this. This is just insane. Let's go on this side uh, because at least then we don't have to worry about a back shot from these guys. And full out attack. Let's get him, Bubba. Hammer him hard, please. Locked on for physical attack. Yeah, 73, not bad. We gotta get the talons on here somehow. Nice! You, you ain't going anywhere. Not with this many chevrons evasion standing in a mineral field. You're not doing anything to us. Ah, uh, would have been good to have the Jager mech now, but what can you do? Commander? Moving at full throttle. This thunderbolt is like teetering. I think we can probably... Well, um... Yeah, he's been CT'd hit. So, let's blast him with the missiles. We missed with the tag, damn it. Okay, who's going next? Wolverine, probably? Come on. Where are you going? You don't want to move up. You want to stay back there somewhere. I think. That's what I would do. Just stay back around the... No, don't move up. Don't jump. Oh, man. Don't want you here. Here comes the crapapult. Okay, so it's got LBXs on it. Uh, he gets to go before us, damn it. Damage minimal. Oh, I don't want to be hit by the turrets. As much as I want to shoot at that Wolverine too, or the, uh, sorry, the uh, Defiance, I think this guy is probably the priority right now. He's almost gone, so let's hit him with everything. Um, is this still 26? 32% now. Um, how badly hit is this guy? Pretty badly hit, so I'm going to multi-target. going to shoot on this guy with everything except for the Thunderbolt, which is going to go back there. And we're going to fire. Okay, he bailed. Oh my god, that's two in a row. Thank you so much, Rhino, man. Three points, eh? I'm showing minor damage. Yeah. Man, you can smell the you can smell the plasma of that PPC flying right by your face. Oh, that was a PPC hit too. Good job. Reporting minimal damage. Guy's pretty quick. Orders 
order? Uh, let's reserve this. Holding for the right opportunity. Yeah, you better back up. Wolverine? What's he doing? Come on, buddy. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come on. Think about it. He's not moving? Ready for orders. Seriously? We see, we can't see him. No eyes on. Well, what about this turret? Chance to hit is what? 38 with ultra fives, but I think we should probably pummel this guy. Um, let's warlord it up, get better chances to hit, inflict as much damage as we can on this guy and fire. Okay, so the uh, thunderbolt definitely hit. Hellcat, just walk it back. Same target, please. And dump everything into his side, firing. That hit something good. Steve. And uh, everything but one. And fire. He's already gone this round. Don't have to worry about him. Hmm. Left side's already been damaged. So let's move in like this. Now, I don't know if when this guy's going next turn, T Samp's got a really bad chance to hit. So, we're just going to sensor lock this guy this turn. See what happens Got next left. turn. Not sure why it's got such a low chance to hit on this guy. Probably has electronic warfare equipment in it, most likely. So they really like Rocky because Rocky's basically the closest. We've been trying to keep ourselves at a position where we don't have to worry about direct fire. Uh, 32, 99, and something. Let's just back it up. 51%. Uh, do we want to use the missiles to... I think we want to use the missiles to kill this guy. Um, gonna try for a headshot. Not that it matters, but th these are gonna scatter anyway, so. Okay, we did get a head hit. Nice. It's panicking. So it's the Wolverine, it looks like now. I don't know why it's taking forever for him to think about what he's doing. Ah, oh, well. Oh, this because this guy's a weapon axe wolverine. Reporting heavy damage. 
What's up, boss? So you can play at that game, buddy. I mean, you're better at it than I am, but... Okay, he had, he had A-pods, so they're gone, but he's got... Death from above and melee. Nice shooting, guys. Now we should have enough for we do for vigilance, so we can uh, do that first. Okay, we're gonna move here, and we're gonna multi-target A and B. B will get the thunderbolt, and we'll fire. Bye bye. Target eliminated. Okay, Steve. This weapon turd here's gotta go. Can't fire that many shots on him, but whatever I can fire I will. So we're gonna fire three. Why does this one do seventy four and these do fifty? Breaching shot probably. Alright, firing. Ooh, head hit. Took 50 in the head. Nice. Hey, thanks for coming out. Don't know how much he's down to, but it isn't much. I think we just straight up attack them from right here. Um, if he attacks us back though. Rhino's going on 20. think we'll be okay. We've already pushed him back. Minus one initiative. This should be another minus one. Engaging. Or we could take his leg off and that'll be it for him. Oh, that's a hit. Ready for orders. Uh, how do we target this guy? Is he dead? I can't target him. Oh, I smell cheating. I smell cheating. We won't get much on that guy. Let's move forward. If he gets up, I'm going to be pissed. I can't risk it. If he gets up, I'm do I'm doomed. Thirty-eight in that guy. Oh, way better on this guy. So we're gonna fire on this guy. Fire everything. Yeah, man, that thunderbolt's that hitting well now. So I got a feeling there's gonna be reinforcements on this mission. So I want to try and take out those turrets from long range. Ah, uh, fire everything. Okay, he's tagged. I don't know, man. That guy, he's starting to worry me. Why can't I target him? He's got to be dead. Let's hope so. 
Got the Warlord back. All PPCs on this guy. Open up, please. Okay. Running on XL, most likely. So this guy, I guess, is dead. He's just not showing up as dead. Understood. Moving fast. I've got a sensor lock. Waiting for order. He better be dead. Oh, I can stand on him, so yeah, I guess he is. Either that or I'm corpse jumping, one of the two. Uh, 225 left. Um, we're not going to get any more damage if we Warlord, but we will get a better chance to hit. Might as well. And fire. Uh, we'll drop one down. Actually, we'll drop two down. I don't think we're going to need more than these two. Cool. Let's get as far forward as we can. Oh, they can see us. I think they have increased sensor range anyway, just in general. Okay, that's that corner turret. We need to get down here. Sensor lock him. Hope we're not too close. Sensor's locked on. I think at a certain point, Commander. if we get too close, the reinforcements will come in. So let's get direct line of sight on this guy. Yeah, fire everything. And let's let Steve finish it up. Hopefully. And fire. The only problem is I think we need to be like in visual sight range of these buildings in order to target them. So I think probably once we kill this turret. Ah, see the pressure's off. We missed. No joy. Once we kill this turret, I've got a lock. we'll move in uh, Rocky. Uh, you can stay right there. Standing by. Uh, we don't need to go very far. Let's just walk over here. And dump it all in this guy. Get our stability back. And I think we should be able to land one. Yeah, probably. On nice. Okay, so we're going to move Steve over a little bit. It is gone. gone. Going to start moving towards the uh, evac. Okay, Rocky, let's give us eyes on these buildings, please. Nicely done. I can't believe I forgot to fix that stupid uh, T-Semp cannon. I know I said, oh, you know, we'll fix that cannon between things, and I completely forgot. Okay, two down. Can't see anything else. Roger that. Okay, no reinforcements. Thought for sure there'd be reinforcements. Out. 
Medium 150. Do we have anything that's small here? Small. We should be able to kill that one. Okay, and then this building here will be the last one. So, we had tons of ammo left. But if we had a heavier lance fighting us at the start... That should be it, I think. Yeah, there we go. So that was relatively easy for a 5 skull. I'll have to remember for next time that weapon X loadout with the pulse lasers and not shooting anything like SRMs or autocannons or stuff. Try and kill them at a distance if I can. So 323,000, not bad. That should easily cover repairs. We didn't get penetrated in any way, which is probably a good thing. Uh, t sam cannon still needs to be fixed, but that was left over from before. And I'll put that, I'll slate this to get fixed as soon as I possibly can. I know I said that before, but seriously, this time we definitely will. So, catapult, C2s, Thunderbolt parts, AC-10, ERPPC, LRMs with accuracy and evasion ignore. What else do we have? Triple plus PPC, this is really, the, this is the good one. Uh, I'm going to dump it in for now. We might use it, we might not. Uh, Angel ECM, this is a good ECM. Um, five to sensor checks, two tons, reduce signature and reduce visibility. That's a possibility. Uh, Excel engine, uh, melee gyro, or yeah, what else do we got here? Double heatsink kits, we still have one. Laser AMS we have, Slick Suite we have, Stealth, Armor, uh, plus five weapons heat, Stealth Extreme, two Stealth at Extreme Ranges, hmm, TSMs, Artemis Ammo, uh, yeah, Talons, we've got two talons already which we definitely need to put in a melee mech which would probably end up being the Orion maybe we put a melee accuracy reduced melee damage stability damage taken reduced melee damage taken melee accuracy that's a possibility for building the Orion so let's drop that in. We've got the 300 core now, which we can put in. Um, this is just a regular ECM. Claws. Oh. We have, I think we got one claws on the hunchback. Don't have any angels, but we do have the warfare suites. So let's go with. Uh, where's those claws? Claws, claws. Here we go. Take one set of claws too. And let's confirm this. Alright, one Defiance part, two, three, four Thunderbolt parts, two Wolverine X parts. Not bad. X pulse, uh, small pulse. Eh. Could have been better. I was hoping for more catapult parts. Okay, Steiner is doing really well in the wars here. Uh, 83,000 refer repairs, which really isn't all that much at all. So as we were loading in here, uh, I just had a thought. We weren't, I'm not really that impressed with the Victor and its loadout. Maybe we make the Victor the melee mech. Let's just close this for a second. Um, if we do that, put the bigger engine back in, which is relatively cheap. It's already got a light engine in it. Right? Um, it's got two support points, but I think those are shoulder mounted, aren't they? I can't remember now. The Orion itself has got two. One on each arm. Lasers in each arm. One ballistic and two missile. What else? I'd love to have something with four support points. So we could put a boomstick in the torso. This has got two. Could you imagine a catapult as a melee mech? 
You can't put any ar arm actuators on this guy, unfortunately. So it's not really worth it. Um, support points are here. So it's either going to be the Orion or the Victor, one of the two. Um, yeah, I don't know. Does this guy, I don't think this guy has hands. So maybe it is the Victor instead. This guy doesn't, this guy's only got one hand. I guess it doesn't matter though with the uh, talent or the uh, claws. You know what, between episodes, I'm going to work on this. See how we can get it loaded out. Uh, what I'll do is I'll probably, let's see what the contracts are like on this planet, what we got left. I might pull a milk run off between episodes here. Clean out the mercs, we could probably do real fast between episodes. And then we'll jump planets most likely. Yeah, these guys are, Davian's starting to hate us, so uh, they're not going to let us take any of their missions. I don't really care. I don't, I hate Davian. I hate Davian. Uh, lost air is not enough sea bills, but I'll probably do this one real quick. Make some currency. Uh, that's going to make our financial report, I think, right? Yeah, 19 days. Make a jump and probably pull off another mission. And then uh, we'll work on getting uh, either the Victor or the Orion into a melee status. Most likely the Victor. Um, God, it's such a tough choice. I'm not really happy with any of the loadouts on these Victor. The, the Thunderbolt's hitting relatively frequently. Like over 50% hit, which is good. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm going to leave the episode there. If you like it, drop a like. Also throw some suggestions in the comment section down below. Uh, with Rotec 998 coming out, this series will slowly be f uh, fizzing itself out. Uh, since it's going to break saves. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff coming out in the next version of Rotex. So that's always, that's you know great news for anyone playing. So yeah, um, drop the comments in the comment section down below. Um, we'll see how, f how far we can take this one. I don't mind playing an out-of-date uh, series. As you can tell by Rogue Rotex Cold Forge, I really enjoy playing Rotex in any shape or form. Uh, this game is so awesome. It's great. It's, uh, just love it. Anyway, so yeah, we'll leave it there. Until next time, we'll see you all later.